Hello and welcome to another episode of Transport Fever. I'm Tech Hench, and in today's episode, we're going to actually do some more work down towards the south of the map, next to where I actually started building the, the cargo hub in some previous episodes. What I said I was going to do in them episodes was actually add another city down here. So as you can see, one side we've got Newcastle, and I want to add another city on the other side of the hub. I'm just going to use the time generation in the game. So I want commercial as tools and the industry that's going to have in the town is just machines. So what I was hoping was that it would kind of put the industries or a lot of industries down there and commercial properties. The size of it was just medium as you saw. So it actually did a pretty good job of generating the town as I wanted it. It did do a few things where as you probably just saw there across the island it put a road which I didn't want and it has put some buildings around the island which I don't want either so I will come back and delete them uh, later on it has joined up the road there to the cargo hub so I don't actually want them and unfortunately when I deleted the roads it actually deleted quite a few of the buildings as well it's not a great deal I could do about that I don't think but it did give me a chance to come back and just add some or increase the capacity on some of the roads that it did generate so because I've had to move them industries what I'm going to do is actually put a fence and some trees down the side of there just so it makes it look a little bit nicer just before I do that I'm just going to tidy up obviously as you can see there's some of the buildings that are placed in a place that I didn't really want them to be so yes yeah, so down here I'm just going to place a few trees and a bit of a fence or another fence just to make it look a little bit nicer if buildings are generated there that's probably okay because I'm hoping it will just generate over the top of them. Delete the trees. We're going to pull out the trusty fence tool. Let's put a little bit of a nicer fence just across there. I think this just finishes the area off a little bit and makes it look, like I say, a little bit nicer. You probably would have something down there as well, just to break up any noise or anything like that that comes across from the cargo hub. Probably we wouldn't want to be living right next to it. So I'm just going to add a truck to stop down here as well. I do want to try and have some of the uh, machines and tools to delivered to the uh, the city actually see where it's going oh south of okay so just another mod that we've got for some reason what that was doing was allowing the trees and stuff to show through and I couldn't make it expand so decided to get rid of that and just go with the regular one so I'm just going to put a bit of a fence around it just to make it look a little bit nicer again Not expecting a huge amount of traffic to come down this way. So it probably doesn't need to be any bigger. And it certainly won't be receiving or it won't be sending any goods anywhere. So it's only going to be receiving. Did put one or two random trees in the cargo hub as well. I'm not quite sure why. Set the brush big enough for that not to happen. So the next thing we're going to do is add an industry down here. There's not actually any real industries down here or nothing that actually is greater than taken up the map. So what I'm going to do is add a tool industry. Obviously because the town that we've just added in also needs tools, we can use the tools that are created here and then transfer them across. We can also use the cargo hub to take them up the map. I'm not 100% sure yet which city needs tools further up the map but I uh, will work that out at some other point because we've already got trains going backwards and forwards between here and the Needham Market hub I should be able to add them on so what I wanted to do here is kind of just make it almost on a cliff next to the main motorway that we've going, got going past and what I possibly will do in this area is add a few more industries as I go along so at the minute I'm just going to add one which is going to be for tools I'll probably 
I suppose I could add machines down here as well. We have got a big machine area further up the map. It does bring machines. Does it bring I don't think it does bring machines down here at the minute, but it will do once uh, we add some more trains and stuff on there. What I'm going to do around here is just add in a road so around the tool factory. And what I wanted to do is at the back side of the tool factory is add a building that is for office workers. So obviously the main building would create the tools and things like that. But do you normally at these kinds of places have office buildings as well? So I'm just going to fill in the bits where it kind of doesn't make sense to have grass and things like that and just have tarmac. And what I'm going to do is just add a road right the way around. And there is actually on this a road on the back as you can probably just see there. So I thought I'd connect that up. I know it doesn't actually connect but just have a road to that little road that comes out of the uh, the industry and then the back side of this of the tools tool factory is to put a car park here as well somewhere for the staff and things to park that car park probably was a little bit large I wish it wouldn't cut off the uh, do the circle bit on the end it just cut off. Maybe that's something they could add for the next game. An actual proper... Or maybe even the developers could do it anyway. Add a proper car parking tool. So you're just going to put a wire fence around here. Just to kind of tie it all together. I am hoping now that they've just released the Vulcan update. That uh, they will... The developers will start adding new stuff to the game so it would be pretty cool to have some DLC come out or some additional things to play with though to be honest the modding community has done a brilliant job of adding all kinds of stuff to the game I suppose the developers may now be working on Transport Fever 3 I'm not sure to be honest I don't think they've released a any news or anything like that any recently so I'm sure we'll find out at some point so I have added a couple of more factory buildings as well and also so they're the modern factory buildings and also that office building it's actually a commercial building Looks like an office building to me, so that looks good. And just to make it a little bit nicer on the ed edge of the road, just add a few bushes and things like that. So if you are interested on the mods that I'm using, I did do a video a little while back on some of the mods that I've used in the game. I've also got a Steam list actually of all the mods. If you find the mods video, which will be in my uh, on my channel. Uh, I can also link it down in the description. It will show you the, the mods that I'm using so far. One thing I may not have done is updated it just recently. I don't think I've added actually any new mods just recently. So uh, these are the uh, yeah, this it, it's pretty up to date. A couple of mods that I have seen that a couple of people are working on, I think, isn't decent airport mod that looks quite good so I'll be checking out that when it comes along they just had a few more buildings at the front of the uh, the site just for kind of storage and things like that so depending on how much I kind of have coming and going from here. I may need to add another place where trucks can uh, pick up goods, or just add a different one. That one, I don't think it's expandable. In fact, it's not expandable, so um, it may get overloaded depending on how many goods are created here. And I may need to expand depending on how many tools I need to create. I may need to add another tools factory. 
but uh, I'll just do one for now and just see how we go with that. So this mod here that I'm using for to paint the brush is actually really useful. The only slight issue with it is it's fine if you use it like that. If you need to rotate it at all, it has jagged edges then, which then actually makes it quite difficult to use. One thing I didn't actually realize you could do, so within the industry, actually paint inside the industry. So as you can see, I made a bit of a mess of it there. But the little areas where it looks like people can go and sit and things like that, Paint that a little bit just to make it a little bit nicer. Just makes the edges a little bit sharper as well and a little bit nicer to look at. And I don't really want dirt everywhere, so just cover that in. I think it's gravel I selected there, yep, looks like it. So it would be good on the industries if they actually made them look like they're working a bit more. So they don't really do a great deal. In terms of movement that is, the animations within the building. Quite good if you could actually see the uh, tools and things like that being made. On like a production line or something. Just to finish this area off, we're just going to go and add a few more trees. One thing I probably do want to do, come back and do around here is maybe just add a few more of the tools like that. So the, the crates of tools and things like that, just so it looks like some of them have been created already and just waiting to be picked up and delivered. Because the road into the industry as well is looking a, a little bit plain, so what I'm going to do now is just add in some trees and then a fence around the edge of it, a few bushes and things like that. I think I added the. I've already added the security hook, as you can see there. Just about. I don't think I added a barrier actually. Maybe I need to come back and add the barrier. So it just makes it all tied in. It all ties it all in together. Makes it look like it's been there for a, a while. I did want a path as well on the road so that's why I've just changed the road there so you, you could in theory walk from the, the town all the way to the uh, industry because it wouldn't actually be that far and because the other road hasn't actually got a path uh, yeah I thought I'd just do that just using a regular fence just to fence it all off So what I'm going to try at the end of this video is just doing a flyover of what I've created so far. I did mean to try and do it on the last video, but for some reason it didn't turn out very well. So at the end of this video we're just going to fly across the tools industry that I've created and also across the town. Because the camera manager is actually really good in the game, and it does create a nice smooth video for you to show not checked it out I'd suggest going and checking it out because it is really good and seeing some of the other things that people have created just help you show off kind of your your build and stuff like that so we'll just jump into the flyover and as we come to the end of the episode thanks everyone for watching don't forget to give the video a like if you enjoyed it and why not subscribe if you want more Transport Fever? Hit that notification bell to receive a notification every time I upload a video. And another thing for you to watch is I actually, this is actually the second series I did on Transport Fever. I actually started out doing a series where I tried to make a billion dollars in one year I think it was. I'll link that on the end. Why not go and check that out? I'll see you over there.